Hey everyone! Today I am at Luth Bay and it is absolutely picturesque here. It is so beautiful. So I found a spot right near the jetty and the reason that I've picked this spot actually is because you get a view of the whole bay but also there's like hills on the other side where the shore is so I think it's a really interesting composition and uh, something you don't usually see at the beach so I think this is so pretty um, and I'm really excited so let me show you guys the view. So this is the area that I'll be painting. You can see the water is just an amazing color. It's absolutely beautiful. Lots of rocks and yeah, the hills in the background. It's just gorgeous. So I've just put my camera on the tripod for a second because I'm pretty excited. I have bought a new hat and I just wanted to show it to you guys. I mean, aside from this beautiful beach, the hat is pretty exciting. Okay, I'm gonna put it on and then I'll be back onto the camera. <laughs> It's my beach umbrella hat. Check it out, it's like a beach umbrella on my head. <laughs> anyway, um, enough of that. Let's get into the painting. Here we go with the time lapse. I'm just oiling the piece of wooden board that I have, and now I am measuring up for drawing and putting my drawing in. And this scene had a lot of elements to it because it had like the hills in the background, the bay that sweeps around, and then all of the land, and plus there was rocks in the water but it was a really nice composition, so I didn't mind spending a little bit more time on the drawing up. Now I'm just adding in my sky with a palette knife, and now that I've got my sky in, I'm just gonna be adding the background color for the hills. Now I'm picking the middle tone of the colors that are in the hills so that I can add the highlights and the contrast after and still keep them fairly simple. And these hills actually turned out like really nicely. Like I, I spent quite a bit of time on them actually. Um, sorry, my umbrella hat is a little bit big, uh, which I didn't realize until now that I'm reviewing this vlog because it is actually in the way of my canvas a couple of times. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys can still see it okay. And um, yeah, I'm just adding in some of the shadows on those hills now. And I'm super pleased with how they're, they're coming along. And I'm adding some really dark color for the trees. And I'm basically nearly like dot painting these trees in because they're so far in the distance that all you do see of them is like a little speck on the hill. And um, yeah, now I'm just putting some of the plants that are in the foreground in the distance uh, that are closer to the waterfront. Uh, because there was actually quite a lot happening in the distance. Oh my goodness, my hat is too big. I'm so sorry guys. I really didn't realize and the worst part is I have bigger hats to come. Um, but anyway, we'll ignore the hat. Uh, you'll just have to try and follow along uh, and pretend like you're not seeing a giant beach umbrella in your faces. We're pretty much done with the land on the other side and now we're adding in the water. Now the bay was a little bit tricky because there was like a lot of rocks um, so I was trying to like keep in mind where those are going uh, but also because it swoops around the way it did there was like a light color around all the edges so I had to try and make sure that I got the light color in the right spot because the darker color is where the deeper water is and I didn't want to accidentally make the water look too deep at one point on the canvas where it wasn't. So um, yeah, it was a little bit tricky. Uh, I find cove shaped beaches are actually one of the harder things to paint. Actually, thankfully this one wasn't too curvy compared to some of the ones I've seen. Um, but still, like the, the shape can be a bit challenging when it curves around like this. And um, yeah, now I'm just adding in a backing color for the rocks that I'm going to be placing. Uh, just on the side there and now I'm adding in my darks for that and I will go through and add in the highlight details in just a moment. Um, I really did struggle with rocks a little while back and I mean I still sometimes struggle with them but I think I'm getting better at them. So uh, yeah I've added in those rocks and now I'm just adding in a bit more of the watercolor because I realized I missed a spot and now I'm working on the rocks on the other side of the canvas, the ones that are quite a lot closer to us and trying to get those to have a bit of detail. Um, and obviously the closer they are, the more accurate I have to be with my painting because, you know, the ones in the distance you can kind of get away with a little bit, but yeah, the ones in the foreground, not so much. 
So, um, my umbrella hat, the, uh, one of the, the paddings for the um, piece of wire came off. I guess that's what I get for buying a cheap hat. I am going to swap my hat for a different hat so that I don't get burnt because the UV is really high today. But actually the reason that I stopped videoing right now, I stopped the time lapse right now, was people with dogs in this area. Oh my gosh, I am so disappointed. Literally, I had a, a big dog earlier come by and he started digging in the background and the wind was going this way and so all the dirt wound up on my canvas. And then just now I had a Labrador come up to me. I, I wasn't phased by it and it was like sniffing around. And then it peed on my bag and I was like, how dare the owners not keep that thing on a leash? Like, I'm really, really disappointed right now. Like. I can't believe dog owners in this area. Oh, that's my rant, I'm done. Um, I'm gonna go change my hat and uh, maybe find some sunscreen because I'm getting pretty burnt. All right, so here we go, back to the time lapse. And I'm just gonna say, I think that the sunscreen I had was out of date because I got extremely sunburnt this day. And um, yeah, I bought some new sunscreen the day after. And yeah, my arm felt like really, really burnt. So, um, yeah, okay, so if you're going out back, guys, maybe check the expiration date on your sunscreen before you go because sunburn is a little bit serious in Australia. Anyway, I'm just adding in the foreground on this painting. I've turned the canvas sideways to make that a bit easier for myself, and I feel like it's a bit more inspiring now that it's uh, it's got some colour there because before there was a lot of blank area staring back at me, and... Actually, I hadn't checked the time, so I didn't know what time it was, but I was stressing, thinking maybe I would not be able to finish it in time or the day was coming to an end. But actually, I was, I was doing all right for time. I just had no idea. And because the day turned a bit overcast, it was sort of harder to tell. Yeah, thankfully, I had all day available to me, so that meant I could just be chilled out and, uh, and painting. And actually... I was there probably the longest out of anyone. I got there when the fishermen got there in the morning, like just after them, and they were leaving while I was still painting. And I remember one of them was like, whoa, you've been here a while. I went out fishing and you're still here. I was like, yeah. But um, yeah, I really, really wanted to focus on the details of this painting. And there was a lot of details because as I've said, there's just so many rocks in this painting, in the water and on the land. And then also there was like quite a few plants. So yeah, um, a lot of people did kind of park in front of my easel. Um, and a lot of them actually were, were sort of in my view. But anyway, I was able to work around them and just change the area that I was working on at the time. Except for one, uh, there was one, one group of people who like pulled a four wheel drive directly in front of my easel so they get out and take a look at my work. I don't even know how they knew I was there though. They must have heard from one of the other locals that there was someone painting there. That was all they came to do. Um, but anyway, yeah, we, we're getting there with the painting and it's starting to look pretty good. I'm really pleased with this one. And I'm just adding in the shadow tones for some rocks and plants on the land. And uh, now I'm just adding in a little bit of grassiness in the background and actually I realized when I was painting this that I totally painted the shadows going the wrong way and so I had to like kind of change those as I went because the the lighting of the day had changed and I was like wait a minute the shadows should be going a different direction. I did kind of adjust those as I went and you'll probably probably notice me like fiddling a lot with the rocks um but yeah I'm just adding in some some little flowers. Now there was some little wildflowers um, but I may have multiplied them because, <laughs> you know, I, I really like flowers and, um, yeah, I mean, I saw some and I was like, oh, it needs a few more. So yeah, I planted some extras with my paintbrush. Guys, it's finished. Oh my gosh. I have been here like all day. Um, I don't know what time it is. I'm actually, I'll go check so that I can tell you how long this has taken me. Um, but I was really trying to do it. Whoops, my car's locked. I was really trying to do a good job uh, with the with the details. Um, so I spent like a long, long time on it. Um, now, let me check the time. The time right now is 5.27 and I got here at around 11. So that's about six and a half hours. 
and usually a canvas this size takes me uh, less than five um, but uh, that's all right I, uh, I'm so pleased with this one so let me show it to you guys Okay, so I just turned my easel around so that you guys can see it properly because it was in complete shadow before. But this is the finished painting. Uh, so you can see there's the hills and all the trees and some bushes and rocks, lots of rocks actually, and uh, more rocks. I'm so pleased with this one. And uh, yeah, that's my location. Except now there's a lot of clouds in the sky and the water doesn't look as blue as it did this morning. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, really, really happy with this. So with this painting, I just want to retouch this bush because as you can see up close, it's really kind of a little bit too thick with the lines. So I just want to add a tiny bit of extra detail and possibly something to this rock because it looks like it's not sitting in the water properly. But aside from that, I'm completely happy with this painting. Here's the video of me retouching the painting. So I'm just fixing that bush and now I'm moving on to the rocks in the water. There wasn't a lot of work to do with the retouching, just a small amount. So this is obviously a very short bit of footage. And then after I did these rocks, I decided that I did need to add some more contrast to the bushes on the side. So you'll see me do that in just a second. There we are. So I'm really happy with this. I'll show it to you up close. So yeah, that's the extra dark I added there. Added just some highlights there. And just there, those rocks are now sitting in the water. So super happy with that. And that is my finished painting. Here's the photo of the finished painting. I'm so pleased with this painting and the amount of detail that I managed to get in. There was only very minimal studio adjustments as you guys saw. And I'm just so happy with this one. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you all again next time. Bye!